Hi everybody, it's Pit of the Potter, and uh, we're still working on that uh, six pound jar, uh, covered jar. So I'm gonna make the, uh, the lid. You all have seen me make a bunch of lids, I'm sure. And uh, we're just gonna quickly do that. And then I've got to run into town here in a little bit. And I'm going to leave this lid out to dry. And this, we can make this lid out of about, um, about a pound of clay, I guess. So, I could get me about a pound of clay out of this bucket of clay here, right out of the bag. And just shy of a pound by a little bit. So just take a little widgie, a little widgie point, put it on there. Uh, one pound exactly. See that coming out of, off the thing here? I'm gonna pound these two pieces together just like this. And I know about wedging, and I usually wedge stuff over five pounds, but like yesterday, I just didn't do it. And anyway, here we go. We're gonna turn the lid for this uh, six pound jar here. It's a pretty good sized jar, so I'm going to make a pretty good sized flange here. Okay, centering the low flat. Here we go. Drop the hole here. Come straight out. Nice curved bottom here, nice and gentle, easy does it. Put in that little gesture we like to put in our pots. And I guess we need to find the, uh, here it is. Man, that's almost there right now. So I'm gonna pull this up. Make this nice, flatten it down for the flange. Not much pulling involved in this piece. I'm just going to put a little extra wide lift over here. And then we'll measure this to see how we're doing on the channel here. And we're almost there. It's pretty close. It's funny, I just don't measure the lids at all. And when I get involved in them, Seems like I'm always throwing the same size lid. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but it does. So check where my channel's going to be. Okay, it's going to be right there. So we we'll take the back end of something. Just uh, anything sort of will work if it's flat. Here, just the end of my pen will work. So we're going to recheck this measurement real quick. Here, is this the right one? Let me check here. What did I do? This is three. It's three and five eighths. Let me make sure I've got the right pattern here. here. It's three and five eighths. This doesn't look like three and five eighths. Nope. This is the wrong uh, deal. <clears throat> let me let me go look around here. Let me see here. What did I do with that calibers? Huh. Well, you know what happened here? It's very interesting. I've actually uh, thrown this pot and I've made the, uh, the lid, started to make the lid. And what's happened now is I think I made this lid three and five eighths. So I'm gonna go over here to the pot. Here, watch out. Oh. <clears throat> well, this is an interesting, it's going to be an interesting tape here. What happened was, 
when I made the bowl, I mean, I made the six pound thing when I, before I stopped it or st sort of finished it, what I did was I measured the lid. And the lid was three and five eighths. And what I did is I wrote it down. And then I guess I reused the calibers here one time. And when I grabbed them, they were three and five eighths. Now this is the three and five eighths measurement. And I'm going to put it in here and it's it's right there. I'm still right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish the pot. Even though I, I might have made this a little bit wider than I needed to. Not necessarily. Okay, so here I am. I'm back at the wheel. Get my sponge in hand. Sorry for the intermezzo. But we're going to cut the groove right here. Lift the center section up. Clean it up. And let's check this again. Three and five eighths. A little bit wider and we'll have it. So I'm going to come in here again and I'm just going to move that out just a hair. Redefine the line, which I've got now. Clean up some of this extra stuff. Make sure that channel is running nice and true. Okay, what I've done now is I've sort of salvaged the piece because I almost made a mistake. And I know that you all will bear with me, but what I can do here is now that we've got this piece uh, turned, and we'll take the wire tool and we're going to undercut this piece quite a bit. Well, let me just trim a little bit off the bottom here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a real quick walk into the shop here. I'm just going to wire this off because that'll have to dry. And that's looking nice. Okay, so clean off the tracks. Get the water out from inside the piece. Get it nice and clean. Make sure we have a good fat outside edge here. And then what we'll do is we're going to take this off the wheel head and uh, we'll let this dry. And I've got to run into town here for about an hour or so. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm sorry I had that dead time, but I still probably will post it because not everything always goes smoothly on these tapes, you know. And sometimes you'll even, you'll even drop a pot. So now what I'm going to do is I'm coming over here into the shop. I guess you all can sort of see me. And what I did was I set this big jar here Okay, and I set it out on in the shop to sort of dry and I didn't really have a place and what I'm doing is I'm going to turn it around here real quick. I'm going to show you right here on this end of the bat I wrote a reference number for the top here and I measured the opening with a with a ruler and I from this from this point right here to this point right here and this point here to this point here was three and five eighths inches. And because I'm turning lots of pots and I sometimes use my, move my stuff, what I did was I just left myself a note on the wheel, on the bat, that this lid will have to be three and five eighths. And that's exactly what I did. So now when we came back in here, we double checked it and we threw the lid and readjusted the calibers here to three and five eighths. At any rate, we'll come back a little bit later and we'll finish this pot and put uh, do the trimming on the six pound uh, jar. And also we'll put a, a lid and maybe some handles on this jar. This is Pitta the Potter in Maggie Valley. We'll see you on part four. Bye bye.